Temperature differentials can determine the sex of fish fingerlings. And armed with this knowledge, the University of Eldoret Aquaculture students have developed a technology that determines the sex of fingerlings. Transformation of the fingerling sex is achieved by varying the temperature of the water after the fish eggs hatch. When fish are, uh, when they are of five days old, they are neither males or females. That is where now we come up with this technology so that we can, we can, they can now trigger the sexual differentiation to be pure males. Our objective is to, um, you know, serve the farmer. So the farmer should be able to get quality fingerlings, should be able to produce enough fish uh, so that, um, you know, for food security and also uh, we are using this to play our role um, in uh, helping our country achieve the vision 2030. He said that fish grew faster and healthier when they were of the same sex in a pond because there would be no disturbance that comes with the breeding activity. The females, they take a lot of metabolic energy for their reproduction, but males, most of their metabolic energy are conferred to body mass. The new innovation is intended to make fish farming more profitable and attractive for the youth who intend to engage in agribusiness. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, fish consumption in Kenya is a meager 4.5 kilograms per capita per annum against a global nutritive requirement of 10 kilograms per capita per annum. Um, fish consumption as a meal uh, for some time in the back was not very popular. Today it is very popular. If you sample many restaurants, um, not only in Eldoret, you will find fish being one of the major, major I, I, I mean, food items. Kenya's fisheries and aquaculture sector contributes approximately 0.54% to the country's GDP. Judith Akolo, Channel One Business.